Let us learn how to create an embossing toolpath in Autodesk Power Mill. Before that, we will start creating the text. For that, I'm going to start create a pattern. From there, I'm go into my curve editor toolbar and you can find a different form of text creation here. For this instance, I'm using a circular form and I'm placing my circle at the center. From this toolbar, you can able to change the font style, size of the font, and where you want to place the font and character space and the circle radius. Now start entering my text here. So Power Mill text creation is my font. From here, you can rotate your text along the circle by rotating the arrow marks here. So once you are satisfied, accept the pattern. Now let's start creating the toolpath for this particular text. So I'm here using a 2D curve area clearance. Select your curve and you set your lower limit as minus 0.5 and selecting my tool here and my block size, I'm using a cylindrical shape and using my selection type as active pattern and calculate. And here I'm going to change the diameter some more here as 43 and my inner diameter as 28. Let's calculate the tool path. If you look at the tool path here, it comes nice around the text. So let us play the simulation for this particular tool path. Enter into my simulation mode, select as my rotatable mode and my rainbow shading and play this tool path. From here you can see it was nicely created with the embossing of the text.